Hello my dear friends, this is Gox. This video is an interlude to my traffic report. Many more people are interested in history when they are personally touched by its results. So let's take a look of the historical facts why Europe became not a Muslim territory and as a result America was populated by mostly Christians or Christian Europeans and not by Muslim Europeans. Before more than 300 years, the Western civilization stand before a giant threat to be finished. Here is the map of the Ottoman Empire during this time. 1683, before the gates of Vienna, two giant armies stand face to face, first the Islamic East and the Christian West. The result of this battle should be the defeat of the Islam and the race of the Christian West. Again, 300 years before, the Ottoman Empire always tried to invade the West and in reality had some small success, battle by battle, to gain more territory in Europe. In the north certainly, but also touching the Spanish borders from the south, so the north of Africa, who was also Ottoman Empire. This battle for Vienna should become the battle who changed the whole destiny of Europe. On one side the army of the Ottoman Sultan Mehmed IV, commanded by the great vizier Kara Mustafa Pasha, and on the other side the defense forces under Leopold I, Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire and sovereign of the House Habsburg Austria. This was the turning point of the battle of cultures who began in the 7th century when the Islam came out for the first time from their Arabic deserts. The church bells were ringing in whole Europe to call the Christians for prayers that the church should be defeated. Everyone believed that the mighty army of Mustafa was rolling simply over Vienna and nothing could withhold the Ottomans to conquer the rest of Europe. I will make it short, because I base my personal observations upon the excellent work of Professor Neil Ferguson, and as always the links are below. Due to some really big logistic mistakes, so lack of suppliance, not being prepared for an occupation and the coming winter resulted in the defeat of Mustafa. He waited too long time to attack Vienna because to fix his errors he needed time to furnish his army with the necessary equipment. During this time the West had enough time to tie alliances to find out good strategies and to send a well-equipped army to help Vienna. Under the command of Jan III Sobieski, King of Poland, a 60,000 men strong army came to help Vienna. During the battle the vizier Kara Mustafa Pasha had fled and the Ottoman army was defeated. In good Islamic tradition for this defeat, the head of Kara Mustafa was offered to Sultan Mehmed. My point. In the 17th century, America grew with settlers coming from a Europe who was by chance and by the mistake of an Islamic army leader still Christian. The end of this battle decided whether Europe and all the countries where Europeans emigrated became 
a Muslim or a Christian nation. Maybe this helps you to enjoy a closer look at the history of the most important cultural border in the world today, so the border between Greece, Turkey, Bulgaria to Asia. And this is what I try to find out and transmit with my actual travel report. I see you soon my friends, this was Goxter, have a nice day.